Starbucks and uh, see where the rest of this day goes. I'm glad I finally got this battery in. Oh, and if you're wondering about the big brakes, my um, I ordered Carbotech AX6 Auto X, Auto X, Autocross uh, specific pads from Carbotech for these Brembo brakes that are going to go in, and they will be here Thursday. So, um, probably Wednesday night, I will start pulling off all the old brakes, get the car up on jack stands, pull all the brakes, and um, put water bottles on the brake lines, get everything to drain, drain the clutch line, just try and get as much fluid out of the system as possible, and all the old parts off. Um, then I'll build the rotors that night, the two-piece rotors for the front, and then Thursday when the brake pads come, well, I'll probably just start installing them, but then Thursday the brake pads will come and we can get everything together. So I'll be looking for that video uh, that Monday after the brakes are done. So be on the lookout on my Instagram at BR32YCE. I post all the things I'm doing, usually pretty far in advance. So you guys can ask questions and all that. I spend way too much time on there replying to people. <laughs> I don't even like, I don't even have notifications set for like tags or likes or any of that stuff um, just for messages. And I get like, it is, my phone has been blowing up lately. It is crazy. I spend way too much time talking to way too many people. But I'm trying to help. That's all it is. Like, I'm just trying to help people out. Some of them are just random conversations of car related stuff. But a lot of this, a lot of people ask me my opinion on things or what they should do or what I suggest. And I like it. I'm, I've met people all all over the, the world, really. Um, a lot in the United States, some in Mexico, Canada, people in, uh, what was it? Oh, South Africa. There's a couple there. I forget what country it was. This guy I got my intake manifold from. I forget now. I don't know, some random country that like I've only heard the name of like twice. <laughs> so weird. Anyway, get these codes go away and do some data logging. Alright, so I figured you guys might appreciate me taking you along for a data log. I know you can't see much, but I gotta use my hands here. So I got my laptop set up. I got the cable here. I got it routed like down under my seat and it comes up down to the OBD, which hooks up to my computer. I got an application up. Within Eurodyne, you can, there's a, a, a section where you can data log. So, uh, what I do, I get the car in. Okay, so we got a car come, we'll let them go. Get traction control off, you get that up, you'll hit start. You'll start at about 2,500 RPM in third gear. Not to wave this guy by about 2500 rpm in third gear and go watt and uh you hold that to about 7000 rpm then i hit stop and then i'll email that to frank he'll edit it send it back or tell me to add more timing or lower the timing or more boost whatever it may be so we'll we'll get that done this is my normal uh mexico spot normally there isn't that many people
20 something autocross events last, last season, plus a bunch of drag racing, a trip to Denver twice, a trip to uh, San Diego. Well guys, it's the next day after installing the battery here. Hope you guys like those pulls I did with the GoPro. Um, it's looking great. <clears throat> now, um, I've started the car maybe three or four times. I think four. Um, leaving Walmart today, I did hear it, it kind of like, like it, as it was starting, it kind of, uh, but it, it did start. I haven't had any issues yet. I just heard like a little, you could hear it like kind of hesitated for a moment while it was starting. Uh, but other than that, it's so good. I haven't put it back on the battery tender at all yet so uh, I don't know, seems great I let the car sit what was it maybe like 14 15 hours and it was fine they say if you drive it every day you shouldn't have an issue at all of course now if you like uh, so you go on a drive and you stop somewhere and you turn the car off but you still got your music playing and you're sitting there for X amount of time you might kill the battery you gotta be mindful of that um, and if you have air ride or like a big sound system like this battery is probably not for you and if you live in the, in the extreme cold you don't want that as well this is like a summer kind of performance battery really what this car is what I use it for daily driving and doing race car stuff perfect for me anyway um, we're about to do this turbo blanket so I went out for my drive earlier I went ahead and Got the O2 sensor nice and undone. I just sat it there so you wouldn't get anything in the hole. But uh, I did that while it was hot. Now everything's cooled down. I can, ooh, turbo's still a little bit warm, but I can, I can touch things. So we'll get this heat shield off first. I don't have all the hardware in it. Uh, one reason because I got a, uh, a different oil line. You can see where this is supposed to go up there. And then one of the screws, I think, along here I didn't put back in because I either lost it or something, but I think there's still three or four bolts holding it in. There's that one, there's one right there, and there's one, I can't really see it, right there. So we'll get those out, get this heat shield off, and then we'll have quite a bit of room to get this turbo blanket on. Trying to get it on with the O2 sensor on is not a fun time. I did that last time. And it was a struggle. Now I actually have a tool to take O2 sensors off. You can get this at Harbor Freight or somewhere. I'm pretty sure it was only like six or seven bucks. Definitely worth it. So let's get this uh, heat shield off. So this is the reason why you want to make sure it's cold when you do this. This this one and this one are this is like right on the turbo. Pretend like this is kind of where the turbo is. These two, like this is right up against the turbo basically. This one's a little further away. Then you got one right here, one right here. This is on either side of like uh, the O2 sensor, I believe. And then you got the one up here that's uh, by your oil. So there you go. It's pretty simple. They're all five millimeter Allens. Now I'll put those in a bag and put the, zip tie the bag to this and throw it in the attic. Uh, let's go over to the turbo. Now we have a lot more room to play with. You can see where the O2 sensor is and the housing. So we'll pop this bad boy off. And now we have the turbo blanket is going to have to go down through this gap on that side, around this side, and of course it goes over the back side of here. We'll take a look at that real quick. As you can see, the PTP will be facing you as it is now, and then uh, this will go on one side of the O2, this will go on the other, and uh, then we have wire here, we'll, these posts on either side, you got one, two, three, four, and five, so we'll figure out how we're going to do that, how to route, route all this. So I just did like a, a rough fitting for this first wire that's going to connect this the one the single one by itself and I'm going to connect that to these two so I'm going to wrap it around this one bring it up here wrap it around this one bring it down wrap it around this one and then as you do that so I'll wrap them around do it twice get it as tight as I can and it'll go to the next one on the 
on the end pieces, so with the beginning and the end, however you want to look at it, it'll leave maybe like an inch off the end. It'll get a one, two, and then I'll kind of wrap it around itself there like this. You can get some pliers or something, if you can even get pliers back there, which you probably can't, and then we'll twist this, make sure it's tight, and it won't be going nowhere. Really, this is just to keep the blanket tight on itself, to keep as much heat as possible. That's what we're trying to accomplish here. Keep as much heat from the, from the hot side with the hot side, keep it away from the cold side, keep it away from the engine bay. Um, and it should help reduce oil temps, reduce intake temps, and uh, most of all, engine bay temps. And then... As a result of that, keeping the hot, the hotter the hot side is, the faster your turbo is going to spool with the way um, gases expand with heat. Uh, the hotter they are, the more they're going to expand, the faster they're going to move, the faster the turbine is going to move, so on and so forth. So we're going to go slip this on there. Hopefully it won't give us much of a fight. Uh, I apologize about the angle. I can only put this camera so many places, but just be warned, there is fiberglass and exhaust wrap and turbo blankets so you definitely should be wearing gloves I'm gonna go try and find some kinda just shoving it down along the side here it's a tight fit it's a lot of blanket to shove down a little small area It'd be nice if I could get on the other side of it and kinda pull it down but it's not too shabby there we go. she's moving such a cramped spot to try and mess around with. Try and get under it on the other side. Nope, that ain't happening. All right, this is what you're gonna aim for. I'm not gonna get it anywhere near as pretty, especially with the turbo on the car. But uh, you can see how everything is just kind of snug tight together with the wire, and it runs up there to that top one. I'm gonna do these. Uh, I started with the opposite side. I'm starting with this one, going to this one, then I go to this one and this one, and then back to this one, end it there, and then I'll do the top down. Um, seems to be the best way I'm going to be able to do it with the amount of room. Um, really, it's hard to show anything because, you know, the turbo's way back there. But I did, I got the first bit on here. I'm going to route it down under, grab the other one, bring it back, and just try and get it as tight as possible, and then we'll cinch up the top part of it and uh yeah but she's in there it looks good i missed the way this looked uh, i hate hated that heat shield so uh this will be nice have this back so i took it back off there was no way starting on the exhaust sorry i don't understand thank you google um there's no way starting on the downpipe side it, it was going to work so i went ahead wired it up on this side this is the the one you got to stuff on the right side, the driver's side of the uh, O2 sensor. So we'll get it back in there and it uh, should be a lot easier now. Because once I fish this over to my side where I actually have room, I'll zip it around. I can reach this one, this one pretty well, but that one was like the furthest away. There was no way I was going to gonna be able to do that. So go boom, 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 boom. Get this nice and tight. Bring one from here down. Call it a day. Should be a lot easier now. Alright guys, well, this was the most annoying install I've dealt with all week. Trying to get your hands down in there and pull things and turn things and all that. Now I got, you can kind of see how red my arm is here from rubbing up against the heat wrap. Uh, and I'm shooting, you can see like kind of like the dust particles. It's from the heat wrap because I hit it and it, ugh. Ugh, it's gross. Don't inhale it. Try not to touch this stuff. When she's in, it looks good. Everything's nice and tight. Got the O2 sensor in. I spent quite a bit of time, like, kind of just, like, pressing on certain spots just to get this to sit and look exactly how I want. I tried to get it as much around the O2 sensor as possible. Um, yeah. Just, that's it. I, I mean, it's impossible for me to show you how to actually do the safety cable with a turbo installed in the car. Just go off that picture, go to PTP's website or Forge or ECS, whoever is the maker of the one that you got and 
Try and go off that. It's going to be a pain in the butt. Wear gloves. Have fun. Now we'll do a, a, a start. This thing's probably going to smoke for like the next week. It'll, it'll smoke pretty bad here when I start it. And then you guys can hear uh, how it starts with the uh, Odyssey here. Let me go grab my key. All right. Ready, set. Just a Well, you guys heard the startup. You seen the turbo blanket installed. Once again, sorry, I can't really show anything. Um, I feel bad, but put about an hour, hour and a half of your day to installing the blanket itself. But you'll want to drive around, take that O2 sensor off, and then let the car cool down. So you got to have quite a bit of, of dedicated time to get this done. Or we'll just take it to a shop and have them do it. Whatever, whatever you prefer. Um, it's not smoking as bad as I thought it would. Maybe I'm like remembering the exhaust wrap on the downpipe itself, smoking a lot, I don't know. But it, there is a little bit, I don't know. I don't even think the camera's picking it up at all. Like just barely, it looks like steam. All right, so you can see it a little bit. It's not much, but it's normal. Well, that's all I got for today. Um, pretty much everything's done now except for brakes, brake lines, brake fluid, and wheel studs. And I gotta send uh, this wheel speed sensor back to shop that and get the right one. Well, that's all I got left. My brake pads will be here Thursday, and we can start the install then. Um, I'm gonna end it here. This is enough of me talking for now. I'll let you guys know. I'll come back in a week on this same video and let you guys know how the battery's been doing. I don't expect it really be driving all that much with the virus. I'm not allowed to go back to work until the 1st of April. And I'm kind of just stuck here, so I might just take like a daily drive every day just to get out of the house. But, yeah, I'll let you guys know.